don't talk to me or my son ever again. <laughs> Are you going to do the Twitch stream right there? That's for another stream, Kara. <laughs> you know I haven't done splits since the incident. I'm ready to learn. Yeah, what are we learning today? Today we're learning about armor stands. So uh, we're going to start off with giving myself a flint item. This is going to be the armor stand editor. So let me get an armor stand as well. Bunch of armor stands. Pick one, one for each of us. We can just uh just use Ooh. it, you know. Okay. Alrighty. So many armor stands. Oh, we also need some armor. Can you give you guys give you guys uh some armor? Just get some armor going. I don't care what you got. Cool. I'll, I'll get some armor. Yeah, yeah. Put some armor on your guy. Decorate him. Make him look pretty. I'm just gonna mix um, okay, yeah. so I should just get armor out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And then... Boom, boom. Okay. I wonder if I have to be in survival. Let me see. Let's there give him chainmail top and netherite bottom. All right, so my guy's got blue shoes because those are Nikes. And then he's got the, the pants and then the, that. And then, yeah. The, uh, oh, yeah, you went with the chain mail too. Looks good. Looks good. Chain mail top, netherite bottom. <laughs> all right. So you guys all will also need a flint to edit this. So give give each other some flint or yourselves flint. I don't care how you oh, do okay. it. Just get some flint. Got the, I got some flint. All right. Not so the flint and steel, flint. just flint. Just flint. Just flint. So put the flint in your cool. hand. Click not on the armor stand. It'll bring up the. GUI or GUI for the armor stand editor. Mm -hmm. Oh. So, uh, yep. So you'll see these like uh, the wool blocks up there. This will rotate the body parts. The obviously the head position, body position, right arm, right leg, et cetera, et cetera. Those oh, will also rotate some stuff. So I recommend um, maybe like trying to keep your armor stand in the background so you kind of see what you're doing. With this. Doesn't say you got to move it to like the side of the inventory, and then this makes yeah, it yeah. so if yeah, if you want to set up an armor stand, you don't have to like know the commands or uh, have to have to do it manually. You can do it with a nice inventory GUI. So it's really cool to like set up NPCs or armor stands or something within your server lobby if you want to, uh, you know, just show off some stuff. Maybe show off a kit, show off some armor, things like that on your server. Exactly. Um, you can also copy armor stand settings and then give them to other people if you want to. Make it work out differently. All right, so, so you can like <laughs> copy. So you can like copy and then put into other armor stands. So you don't have to go through everything manually each and every time. You know, armor stand go burr. <laughs> Just do the twist. And then you can even gotta, save gotta, the settings so that way you can recreate need them to, later I on. To, I need to click faster. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to generate a windmill. <laughs> it's, it's like a, a rotating drill. mannequin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna put more of these things. Okay. Let's do. You can also show arms, make it big, make it small. Yes. Oh my God. Oh, that that looks unhealthy. Here we go. My guy's <laughs> sitting cross-legged. Oh, you got a baby. Oh, oh my God, he's tiny. Rotate. Ooh, little, little, little yeah, my guy is boy. little. How do you? Oh. This is awesome. Yeah, I think it's really cool. Um, oh, I can reset. This. So you have to. So I actually didn't realize this, but you have to like press what you are rotating, and then yeah. exit out of the GUI, and then <laughs> and then click on the armor stand. <laughs> oh my! Uh, like doing the the can can. Whoa! You're going uh, very what? limber. <laughs> we, he's uh, we, he's can meditating. We, can we play limbo. No, I, I failed. Hello. No, yeah, no. <laughs> Whoa. Block. <laughs> this is great. So you can do all sorts of like cool decorative things like this. Like maybe you want to create like a still life scene in your server mm -hmm. with armor stands. So you can all set all of their poses. So it's like a frozen, uh, it's like a frozen scene. There's like infinite applications for this. 
Exactly. I would love to see what people can do with it. <laughs> so oh, wait, I can, you can, Ooh, make he's kicking. So I, I can make it invisible. You can make it invisible. Oh, so that way the armor stand itself make... goes away and then, yeah. Exactly. Rotate, so then you just please. have like a, maybe like a suit of armor standing here. Just in time for like spooky a... season. Ooh, true. You put like a skeleton head on there. <laughs> Make like a diorama or something. <laughs> but, um, this looks so, so random. <laughs> Another thing you can do is do slash ASE help. And it'll give you a bunch of tips and it'll give you a website oh. to click on that'll give you some, some info. Yeah. Pretty fun stuff. You can just read that in your own time. <laughs> Um, but, nice, and we yeah, actually think... use this for our Soccer City server to set up a little bit of poses with people like kicking the ball and stuff around in the lobby. So you can use this in your own lobby server if you just want to set up a cool way for people to be able to, you know, just like strike a pose, show off your kits, and uh, yeah. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. <laughs> Are you going to do the splits too, Michael? <laughs> <laughs> That's for another stream, Kara. <laughs> <laughs> you know I haven't done splits since the incident. <laughs> and we don't talk about that anymore. <laughs> and I think that's pretty much it for the uh, armor stance plugin. I yeah. am excited to see what everyone can, can do with it. Yeah, let us know in the comments what uh, you guys are doing with it. Remember, you can follow for more tips and tricks. Uh, and also comment if there's any plugins in particular on Mindhut that you want to see us make tutorials for. And I just got the Legend of Zelda manga, Ocarina of Time manga. So I'm a huge like anime weeb. And with my love of Zelda, this like intersects both of my like obsessions. <laughs>